Let me start with the game that I'll be at. So I'm going to be in Ann Arbor for Michigan and Indiana. And Michigan's favored by 33 and a half. Listen, Michigan's one of the best teams in the country. Indiana has struggled. So as much as of a preview as you're going to get here, Indiana is coming off a week in which they made an offensive coordinator change. They're going to be facing Michigan's number one scoring defense. Here's what I will say. It, it, this is not a, just a throwaway game because this is an Indiana team that played undefeated Louisville pretty close uh, earlier this year. In fact, they lost by seven. They got stopped on a fourth down at the one yard line with under five minutes to go. So they were right there and, and they've got a couple of really good players and we'll hope that they're, they're healthy and ready to go. But the game is more about Michigan. If Michigan plays well, you would expect that they would win the game. The thing that I'm most interested in to see or or to experience with Michigan is first I want to see the chemistry and and more importantly feel the chemistry of this team because here's what's great about my job is when I get to go out to all of these different programs and I get to go into these facilities and I get to talk with coaches and talk with players I get a sense of what the chemistry is like are the, is the coaching staff getting along with one another? Are the players getting along with one another? Like, what, what does it feel like in the building? That's a big deal, at least to me. So this is going to be my first time at Michigan this year, and it's the first time that I'm going to get to feel that culture and that chemistry. The last two years, it's been outstanding. It's been one of the, the, the unsung, the untalked about, I think nuances with the success that Michigan has is the chemistry, what they had, what they built after the COVID year. And so now to walk in there, I'm excited to kind of see it and feel it in, in this version. And then the other part of this is the, on the field is the depth. When I walk around in warmups and when I see a team and cover a team and I do all their charts and I see the two deep and how dominant they can be, I get a good sense of how deep they're going to be. And this is one of the deepest teams, at least as I begin my study throughout the course of the week and I'm, and I'm getting prepared for this game. This is one of the deepest teams that I've prepared for in a long time. So I want to see that from my own eyes. And then the last thing is the size up front. This team is one of the best teams in the country at the line of scrimmage, and they need to be. That's their style. That's their MO. And in particular on the defensive side, this defensive front, and, and, and more specifically, their defensive tackles look massive. They're all 300 pounds plus, and they do a great job of stopping the run. They do a great job of, of being disrupt, uh, disruptive, and as they call it, like destroying blocks, you know, getting through blocks and, and not allowing the opposition to sustain blocks. So as much as I could talk about J.J. McCarthy, as much as I could talk about the offense and, and Roman Wilson on the outside and Blake Corum as the running back and the deep uh, offensive line, those other areas are where I'm actually more interested to get around this team and actually see them uh, firsthand. By the way, the boa constrictor reference, it's something that we came up with right here on the Joel Klatt Show. I think it's still accurate for obvious reasons, and now other people are using it as well. So, Coach Fleck, thanks for uh, listening to the show. Thank you for watching the Joel Class Show YouTube channel. And if you liked this clip, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel, and you can stay up to date on all of my college football coverage.